Um, and I want, I want to get onto something that you speak Crazy. a lot about. It's BlackRock. Is this like the people running the world? Like I wouldn't say that they're the people running the world, but I mean, when you control $13 trillion in assets and you have a say at the table of a lot of companies, it's pretty powerful. So when you're in a situation where, you know, you're running funds basically that represent the entirety of a nation like BlackRock is, which all it is is an investment vehicle, somebody's making those investment decisions and somebody sitting at those tables when you own equity, right? And representing a fund like BlackRock, yeah. that has a real world impact. So when you see a lot of these companies coming and working together, go and just look at the shareholders and ask yourself if the shareholders are the same, right? And all these companies are different. Do we actually have freedom? Because the logo is different, but it's the same people, but it's the same people. So what's the difference? So people buy into this, this bullshit. They do the same thing with Coca-Cola products. They do the same thing with Pepsi products, which is what they think that they have choice, but they don't because at the end of the day, it's just the same thing packaged in a different format. Cause yeah, I think it's like 90% of the biggest brands are owned by like 12 companies or something. Yeah. I mean, just look at how much Nestle owns. Just pull up a chart right now. Go they on like Google. All the food products. Yeah. All the food products. Just type Nestle food products, then go on Amazon, Amazon products or Amazon companies owned. Amazon doesn't just own the website, amazon.com. They own IMDB, which has the ranking of all the movies. So now that they, they can rank all of their movies, they have Amazon AWS. So they run all the servers. They had a, I think half a billion dollar contract with the CIA to be running the servers for the CIA. <laughs> so now you have a private company that hosts the private information of the American people. Like, bro, shit's crazy out here, dude. And it's like, it's not just one isolated case. It happens at all times in all places. So the entire premise of this conversation is like, okay, so now I know the shit. What about it? It's just be alert. Be alert that the things that are happening around you aren't just chance. They're yeah. they're they're cause and effect. They're caused by people. And you need to understand these things so that you can position yourself in a way to take advantage of it. And talking about taking advantage